What's the difference between an inkjet and an ink tank printer? You often see videos that describe the difference between inkjet printers and laser printers. But a new player in the printing game are ink tank printers. So maybe we need to look at how they work and how they compare to inkjet printers. So let's first recap inkjet printers. They use ink cartridges which contain small amounts of ink that need to be replaced once they run out. These cartridges are filled with liquid ink, typically containing a combination of cyan, magenta, yellow and black colors, often referred to as the CMYK color model. Inkjet printers use this combination of colors to create images. An inkjet printer uses tiny nozzles in the printhead to precisely spray liquid ink onto paper, creating text and images by depositing tiny ink droplets. So every time the printer cartridge runs out of ink, the cartridge will need to be replaced. In home and office inkjet printers, the printhead also needs replacing, while industrial and business type inkjet printers tend to use fixed heads. Now, ink tank printers don't use cartridges. They use built-in reservoirs or tanks that store ink. You can refill them using ink bottles, making them more cost-effective in the long run, as you are only replacing the ink and not having to create extra waste with cartridges and printheads. The tanks also hold a lot more ink than cartridges, so you also refill them less often. But these tanks and ink delivery systems require a bit more space, so ink tank printers are larger in size, being more bulkier than the inkjet printers. So which one is better? Well, that depends on what you are using them for and how often you are printing. When it comes to inkjet printers, they are cheaper to buy up front. Their design is compact and this makes them easier to fit in smaller spaces. They are excellent for photo or high quality image printing in color. Compared to ink tank printers, they offer slightly better print quality, especially for photo printing, due to their more precise ink delivery system. Some high-end inkjet printers can produce better photos than developers. They are not typically designed for high volume printing, as they are quite slow, so if you are only printing the occasional page here and there, then they are your best option. However, just remember that the ink can dry up, especially if you don't use them for long periods of time, and this can result in having to clean out cartridges or nozzles. If it's really bad, you may need to just buy a new printer. But the main issue with inkjet printers are the cartridges. They are costly to replace over time, cause extra waste and can be more challenging to replace. And in order to be more cost effective and environmentally friendly, we tend to refill our ink cartridges using a syringe and trying to replace just the ink. But now you have to worry about things like if you get poorer quality ink, potential printer damage from improper refilling, and maybe the nozzles get clogged up and this can result in a possible reduction in the cartridge lifespan compared to new cartridges. And the whole process can get quite messy. Ink tank printers can hold more ink, meaning fewer refills. They are also significantly easier to refill than inkjet printers, as ink tanks have larger, more accessible chambers designed for easy refilling with bottles of ink, while inkjet cartridges are much smaller and often require more precise techniques to refill without damaging the printhead. While both inkjet and ink tank printers can produce good quality prints, ink tank printers excel in cost effectiveness by providing a lower price per page, making them much better for high volume printing with slightly less refined detail. They are still great for color printing and some of the newer models can actually be better in quality than inkjet printers. They are quite bulky in size and they need more space to set up. But the main thing people also want to know is the price. Inkjet printers generally have a lower initial purchase price, but the cost to run them, like replacing the ink cartridges, is significantly higher compared to ink tank printers, which have a higher upfront cost, but significantly lower cost per printed page due to their refillable ink tanks. Don't forget about those extra maintenance costs. Ink tank printers generally require less frequent refilling and cleaning cycles. However, both types still need regular cleaning. Inkjet printers can easily get clogged up from ink drying up and the nozzle clogging if not used regularly. Ink tank printers can require more maintenance as they have other aspects like ink sponges that need to be replaced periodically. When it comes to the environment, ink jet printers produce more plastic waste due to their disposable cartridges, while ink tank printers are more eco-friendly with refillable tanks. Ink jet printers are great for home users, students and small offices that print occasionally. If you print only once in a while, an ink jet printer might be enough. Ink tank printers may be better for schools and businesses, as the cost per page is quite significantly cheaper, so it's much better for those that print a lot. So to recap, inkjet printers use cartridges for their ink, the initial cost is cheaper, they are compact and widely available, they are good for occasional printing, and are great at high quality photo printing.
but ink cartridges are expensive over time to replace. The ink dries out if not used regularly, you need to refill frequently for high volume printing, and they have slower printing speeds for large jobs. Where with ink tank printers, they have a lower cost per page and are cheaper to refill ink. They have a larger ink capacity, which means fewer refills. They are ideal for high volume printing. The ink is less likely to dry out and are more eco-friendly as they create less plastic waste. They are more expensive to buy, in other words, a higher initial cost. They are bulkier and take up more space and require more maintenance overall with the other parts. So now that you know your ink jet from your ink tank printers, the next question is if you are in a battle, do you take a jet or do you take a tank? For more computer terms, make sure you subscribe to our channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms as well as on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Click on the subscribe button and make sure you share us with your friends so we can help other people learn about all those computer terms. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.